What is shaking everybody? Shane here, Shane's Retro Games, back with another Can He Fix It video, and this is going to be a fun one. So as you can see here, I have Star Fox 64. I am actually very excited to get this working, if I can, because this game I have never owned except for on the DS, and I would really, really like to play it on the 64. So, as always, this is a game that I bought on eBay. Seller said it does not work. And once again, I believe them. So, as far as the cartridge goes, cartridge looks pretty good. A little scuffed up, a little dirty. Sticker's not perfect, but not the worst I've ever seen. However, can you see that? There are no pins. <laughs> so, Let's crack this open. We are just going to need a game bit and a screwdriver. All right, remove the metal shield. All right, so there is our game board. And as you can see, I'm not even sure how this would happen. I have no idea how you could pull this out of the system or break it this way. But, yeah, there's basically nothing left of those pins. So, what we have to do for this repair is a little more than just clean it. <laughs> so we're going to have to remove this chip and move it onto this board. So this board was donated to me by a lovely couple. They are very awesome. Um, so I'm going to have to remove this chip. <clears throat> going to have to remove this chip as well. Um, so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a desoldering iron. Uh, we're just going to desolder this chip, desolder this one, put this one here, and then I think we also need to pull this over to here. So, let's get this warmed up and then take this thing apart. Alright gang, soldering iron. Good and hot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to desolder this chip. So we just have to go through each of these pins, desolder them, make sure that they are good and clean. So I'm just going to on here and you can see most of it has come off so now to just do that a million more times Alright, so there you go. First chip came off pretty easily. So I like this desoldering iron. It, it was fairly cheap. I think it was under 20 bucks. Uh, and it works pretty much just like these suckers, but you don't have to have a soldering iron. And the sucker, you can just have it all in one. It takes a little bit of time, but it works fairly well. Now, to get the chips off of this guy.
Alright gang, so those chips are off. They came off pretty well. I, like I said, I really like this the, the soldering iron that I have because I don't have to do the whole uh, you know sucker tube and soldering iron thing. Uh, there are more efficient ones that are a hell of a lot more expensive, but that one works great for me. I'll put a link in the description below for it. So now, let's get the regular soldering iron heated up. Now let's put these chips on this board. The one thing you want to make sure is that you put the chip on the board the correct way, otherwise it will not read. So, most of these chips, here's the one that came off of this board. You can see it's got a little notch, a little bubble, and that side is on the outside corner. This one doesn't have the little notch, but it does have the bubble, and that goes into that outside corner. Also, the print will be upside down. Alright, solder that into place. Same thing with this little chip, we want that little notch facing this board. Just like so. Now, solder that one on. Alright gang, so apparently my camera died while I was uh, <laughs> doing that last little bit, but... Um, I went ahead and actually changed out this chip on the board. So this is the one from... So this chip here is from the donor board. And you see there it says 6102. And this is the chip from the original board. And it's 6101. So it went online and just to see if there was any significance with those numbers and apparently focus 6101 was only used for Star Fox 64 so switched out those that chip um, so the last thing I have noticed between these two boards is that there's a resistor missing right here so I'm just going to take it off this board, throw it on this one, and then we are going to test this thing out. I am absolutely hoping it works, because like I said, I don't have this game. I really, really want this game to work. So let's get that off of there and move it onto this board. Not the most elegant way to get that off of there. I'll we'll make sure that it's lined up the right way here. Oh. All right, there we go. Everything is moved over. I'm not even going to bother cleaning it because this board actually is really, really nice. Um, so we moved over all the chips. We moved over this one resistor. And I really, really, really hope it works. So let's put this back in here. We're not even going to seal it up. I'm just going to throw it in here. Can we please focus? To the testing area. All right, welcome back to the testing area. As always, ignore most everything over here. Bad lighting, all of that. So here we go. Haven't cleaned it. All we did was change out the boards. 
let's see if it works. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. This makes me so happy. Oh, this makes me so, so happy. Oh, that's awesome. This TV's crap, but this is awesome. <laughs> oh god, I'm so, so happy. I wonder if there's anything on it. Did this have saves? I have, I don't even know. Oh my gosh, gang, I am so freaking happy that this works. That makes me so insanely happy. All right, so now let's finish cleaning this thing up. This is gross. And get it all back together. Alright gang, there we go. I am so freaking happy that this game works. I'm so excited to, to just play it. I have never really played this game. And I love the Star Fox on Super Nintendo, so I can't imagine I'm not going to love this. Um, so what I am actually going to do is I am going to stream it over on Twitch, Twitch TV slash Shane's Retro Games, and test out the game there. So if you want to check that out, uh, I'll put a link in the description, and I'll announce on Twitter when I am going to do that. Um, but I am so, so happy. This is absolutely going into my collection. So, if you like this video, please do me a favor, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you like watching gaming streams, check out <clears throat> Twitch, Shane's Retro Games. Also, every Sunday, I do a fitness-related video game stream for SRG Fitness. Uh, so, that is twitch.tv slash SRG Fitness. Um, I just play video games, answer questions about health, fitness, video games, whatever the hell you want to ask me. So please check that out if you would like. Thank you again, as always, for watching, and I will see you next time.